Well, after the Buffalo Bills lost in heartbreaking fashion Sunday night, some fans made the terrible choice to come down on kicker Tyler Bass, whose missed field goal would have tied the game. Thankfully, many more fans began supporting the 10 Lives Club, a shelter that calls Bass their friend. And this has really blown up. We're joined by Kimberly LaRusso from the 10 Lives Club <laughs> to give us an update tonight on how much Bills Mafia has fundraised. Give us the latest number. Well, um, right before I came here, I checked and it's more than $182,000. All raised <laughs> in how <laughs> much crazy. time? In a day, since yesterday. What is your reaction to that? I mean, how do you even begin to con conceptualize it? We're just blown away. We don't know what's going on, to be quite honest. <laughs> it's just incredible right now. This never happens to 10 Lives Club. It's just amazing. It's great. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Well, you know, what does this mean for you guys? Talk about how many more cats you can help out or something like that. And compare this to maybe other fundraising events that you've done. Yeah, I mean, 10 Lives Club, the, the amazing staff and volunteers there, they host, you know, multiple fundraisers every month to raise funds. And it's $1,000 here, $1,000 there. So for this kind of money to come in all at once is just amazing. Wish it was under better circumstances, sure. but very grateful for the support of our cats and, of course, the support of Tyler Bass. I was going to say, you have um, done a lot of speaking over the past 24, 48 hours, and, of course, a lot of it is the gratitude that, that, that you and your organization are receiving. But so much of it, too, is about defending Tyler Bass, who, as we see, is, is a friend to, <laughs> to 10 Lives Club. We saw you said, hey, back off of our friend. What did that mean to you? I mean, because we all saw it. We all were on social media. We all saw people hammering Tyler Bass. And it just, that just doesn't seem like what we do. It's not. And, and you know, he's he's a person, and I know everybody loves football, but, you know, give it a rest. He, he just leave him alone. I'm sure he goes home, and the whole team probably, you know, takes it hard the next day. So to get that extra attention just on you is, is not right. So we just wanted to let everyone know what a wonderful guy he is and how he helped our rescue cats. And, again, just leave him alone. <laughs> and explain how he helped your rescue hey. cats. So we teamed up with Show Your Soft Side. They are an organization that partners with um, athletes and celebrities. Celebrities, um, to kind of show that you can be tough but still be kind to animals. So um, they connected us with Tyler Bass and they did a photo shoot with him and our rescue cat. So it was really, really cool to see him um, with our cats. And um, most of the athletes take photos with dogs. Sure. And he <laughs> has two cats at home, so he really wanted to help the cats, which is cool. Nice. <laughs> that is cool. You know, I feel like when these uh, viral fundraising stories happen, there's always stories within the stories. You see on social media a number of Chiefs fans really stepped up to donate. To, to this cause as well. Has there been anything surprising or anything that stood out about any particular donation or, or anything about this over the past 24 or so hours? There, there have been um, amazing comments with the donations. Um, there's been uh, Chief fans and Steelers fans that have been writing in better luck next year, yeah. um, just supporting. There's been Swifty comments. Oh, yeah. um, um, my boss said that an elderly woman called and said, I'm from Kansas and I don't know Tyler Bass, but he's, he's a really nice man and I want to give you $100 today. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, woman <laughs> from Kansas. That's great. <laughs> um, are you going to name any building after Tyler Bass oh, sure. after this? Is there anything that's going to commemorate this yeah. giving after this moment? Absolutely. Of course, we've been in talks today um, about naming something after him or doing something in his name to show our gratitude. So what just yet? We'll have to find out. But of course, we have something in mind for him. Have you talked to him? I was going to say, no. any feedback or no. anything? No, no. but I'm, I'm very certain that he's seeing all this. Oh, yeah. I'm very <laughs> sure he is, too. Kimberly Larusa, LaRusso with 10 Lives Club. Thank you so much. Before we let you go, who do we have here? Oh, yeah. we have uh, Chai the Kitten, who was Chai saved the by 10 Lives Club. And is she available? She's actually um, going to be adopted. That's why she's so relaxed. I was going to say, she's, <laughs> she's pretty chill. But there are many cats, including some off camera, that are a little bit active at night. Uh, they are available for adoption as well. Check out their website. It's all on there. Yep. Their Can website you? is on WIVB.com yes. as well. Thank you for being here. Thank you, guys. Congratulations on all this. Yeah. Thank you, we sir. know you'll do some good with it. Thank you. Thanks. Very, very cool. All right, let's get.